Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 20th of November and the rest of the week, 2018. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form, and we did have a down day today. We've not quite broken the lows of the last week yet, and we're still close to the lows of the last month or two. Just to give you an update, it kind of puts us uh, currently uh, up about, 12 points for the year on the ES or the S&P 500. So let's go through the major daily charts. Then we'll look at the intraday action. We'll talk about what's left. This is the last market preview for the week because of the Thanksgiving holiday. We'll talk about that in a minute. Crude oil up 30 cents to 56.76, obviously down quite a bit over the last month or so. Gold down uh, up a buck 80, not a big deal. So the S&P cash lost 45.54 points on the day. It gapped down a little and kept going. The afternoon was dead. The NASDAQ, this is the more interesting story. NASDAQ 100 down 224 points. And if this cracks those recent lows just under 6,600, that's going to be a big problem for the NASDAQ. And keep in mind that the NASDAQ came into the year uh, around the uh, just over the 6,400 level. So you know that comes into play pretty quickly. If you crack those recent lows, you can have a negative year across the board on the two major indices. The Sox down 47.13. That doesn't look good either. Remember, by, this is the point in the year starting around November 15th. If a lot of stocks are up and they're just going to keep going because nobody wants to sell for tax purposes, it usually starts uh, the week of November 15th. That's not what we're seeing here, so this does not look like that type of an ending. Here's the biotech down 73.04, and again, this is an inverted cup and handle. If this cracks the lows of the year, look out. The Russell 2000 down 30. The VIX gains back at $1.96, but only at 20.10. That's not that bad yet. The trend at 0.74 puts the 10-day excuse me, at 1.06. NASDAQ volume 2.3 billion shares. One of the lighter days. Remember, people are already gone for the holiday. Uh, advanced, uh, advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ, negative 14.47. Way more stocks down than up. On the New York, negative 13.86. Google loses $40.85. Apple down 7 67, that's a new low for months on Apple. Netflix down 15.61, also a new low for months there. Amazon down 81.12, approaching new lows for months there as well. And Tesla down 84 cents, but that's actually up near highs. Ironically, Tesla of all things. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF up 32 cents. Goldman Sachs down $3.90. And Facebook down $7.98. The Dow lost about 400 points. All right, in terms of or in terms of intraday action, five-minute candles, you can see we gapped down on the ES, held for about 15 minutes, and then dropped. By the time we went into lunch, that was pretty much it. The rest of the day was pretty dead flat. The NASDAQ side, not much different, although a little more negative um, in the afternoon. So not a pretty day overall for the markets. All right, in terms of economic data that's left, remember this week. So here's the schedule. Here's the layout. One of my favorite weeks of the year because it's really almost a full week off for us. Uh, we made some good money today. But, you know, that's going to slow down. So on Tuesday, we've got housing starts and building permits an hour before the bell. On Wednesday, we've got durable goods and the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims an hour before the bell. Re revised University of Michigan sentiment, CB leading index, existing home sales 30 minutes into the market on Wednesday. Crude oil inventory is an hour in and natty gas at 11 a.m. Remember, most people are going to leave, if not Tuesday afternoon, certainly after the first two hours on Wednesday, head out, start to travel, get back. Plus, we've got weather issues all over the United States right now uh, because Thursday the markets are obviously closed. And Friday, they're only open for three and a half hours. The only reason they do that is by rule. Stock market cannot be closed more than three days in a row. Uh, so we can't be closed on Friday, but it's essentially a day off. So we will have uh, calls in the report for Tuesday, and that's it. We'll look at trading Tuesday and morning and Wednesday morning. Tuesday afternoon is iffy. Uh, but obviously it was a big day down, and we had some decent winners, and we'll see what we get from that uh, on Tuesday. Uh, everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading Tuesday, Wednesday if you bother, Friday probably don't bother, and have a great